Hello everyone and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be talking to you about a book that I've read recently or a graphic novel that I've read recently called Heartstopper by Alice Ozerman. So this is the beautiful cover here. As you can see, I'm going to be talking to you today about volume four. So if you haven't read volumes one to three or you don't want it to be spoiled, then I would recommend stopping now and tuning into another video later. But I do want to talk very specifically about volume four because it is such an important story. So firstly, a bit of background. This is a story of two boys that fall in love. One is outed at school, so everyone knows that he's gay. It was quite a traumatic experience for him. And the other boy is hanging out with this boy and he starts to discover that he also has feelings and he's bi, so they start dating. Now, their names are Nick and Charlie. And, sorry, please forgive Toby, he's decided he's had enough. So they have been dating for a little while now. And so this story is the story of how Nick is trying to approach Charlie and talk to him about his mental health and more specifically an eating disorder that Nick thinks that Charlie has. And it's just this book, this graphic novel deals with that situation so beautifully. I just, I cannot even tell you how stunning this book is. So I myself have general anxiety disorder and depression and I struggle quite frequently with my mental health. And so this book really hit hard for me. Um, the main character, Charlie, ends up going into a mental health hospital and he ends up needing help. But it also talks about Nick's side of the story where Nick is trying to figure out what he can do to support Charlie and help him get through this. And I think that is just the most beautiful thing. And so I have been looking for a very specific page in this graphic novel. So again, if you don't want a spoiler, turn away now or stop reading or stop listening. But this page here... It's where Nick is talking to his mum and his mum says to him after hearing everything that Charlie's going through and how Nick's feeling about it all, mum says, but also knowing that sometimes people need more support than just one person can give. That's love, darling. And, oh, that got me right in the feels. I, I felt that on such a deep level. And so it's such a beautiful story about supporting someone who's going through a mental health issue and what you can do as that support person to protect yourself, but also to help the person. Oh, here we go, Toby's back. And to know that relationships, any relationships, you can't be everything for one person, that you need a support network around you. And it just, oh, it's so beautiful. And I love that it's just done in this gorgeous way. The artwork is stunning. The characters are funny. It's lighthearted where it needs to be lighthearted. I laughed. I cried whilst reading this. And it's just, I honestly, it's just so beautiful. And it touches on such important things that we need to be talking about. So the Heartstopper series. I do believe that you can be a Patreon supporter of the artist and the author, Alice Oserman, and you will get access to the webcomic, which is a little bit ahead of the book but they are being published as books and they are just one of our most borrowed graphic novels at school. We cannot keep them on the shelves long enough. We've got a ridiculous lineup of requested readers waiting for this one. So yeah, I love it. And I think everyone should read it. So yeah, that's it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed my very quick review of Heartstopper Volume 4. Check it out if you are interested. It's such a beautiful story. And yeah, let me know if you do read it what you think. So that's it from me today, everybody. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. Uh, happy reading and stay safe. And we will catch you next time. Bye.